audio. If you haven't heard it today, let me be the first person to tell you that I love you so very much. Hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Libra. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly you versus them reading. Now, Libra, I also do your general weekly zodiac reading sign for your zodiac sign, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point, Libra. But when it comes to any of my readings, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective. I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could. Take the cards that resonate, leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended. I promise you. If you find some cards that resonate with you, be sure to let me know in the comments below because that's how I keep up with y'all is through the comments. And then also be sure to uh, give this video a like and subscribe if you do find this uh, reading helpful in any type of capacity because uh, I always am super help uh, appreciative when you guys take the time to do that for me because it does help out my channel a lot. Um, and then finally, Libra, this reading's here just to give you some perspective. I'm not here to make a decision in your life. Um, this is something just for you to have some food for thought, something to consider as you go throughout your week when you deal with your person, right? So with all that said, let's start getting into your overall energies for this week. Now, I also pulled a card for you, Libra, a card for them, and a card for the energy in between y'all. Um, but we're going to start with a couple of animal oracle cards to start this out, see what um, guidance we have from the animal spirits. So Libra, we have first the mouse spirit number 40 equaling to four for numerology. So write that down for numerology. Libra, uh, we have the mouse spirit coming in asking you to tend to the small things. Now, we also have the seagull card Libra where it's talking about now is the time for deep emotional healing. So this is actually pretty interesting, Libra, just because it's letting me know, <sighs> Libra, this would be like a, you're so, con it's going to sound really like I'm really addressing you uh, aggressively, but it's like with this, I see this as like, you're so concerned about um, this other person and what their thoughts are, Libra. And really, it seems to be like spirit's push for you is to just like worry about yourself a little bit more. Do some healing for yourself. Don't view uh, emotional healing for yourself and making sure that you're emotionally good, emotionally healthy. Don't view this as a waste of time or as like a small thing, right? This mouse spirit's interesting in that is where it's just like tend to the small things. But in this case, when it comes to tending to yourself, it's not quite a small thing. I feel almost as if, Libra, there's something in your life that you're neglecting for yourself that you pass off as being like a small thing, but it only looks small because you're putting it so far in the back into the back burner, Libra, that it just looks so small. But when you actually bring it forward and put some energy into it, you're just like, wait a minute, this is actually like a very important part to everything, for everything to make sense, right? So very interesting. Let's start getting into your cards now, Libra. Um, for your side of things, we have the Eight of Water. Now, this card is talking about a desire to move on, the search for something more meaningful, spiritual and emotional growth. So, Libra, a lot of you guys are just in this phase of, uh, it kind of sounds silly or what have you, but maybe a lot of you Libras feel like you're just upgrading in a sense. You're upgrading like you're sense of standard to people you're upgrading like your emotional health and wealth you're just overall in this place of just wanting to continue moving forward and growing whether it's with this person or not is something that i am hearing uh on their side of things is a night of earth this is a card of time to buckle down and get things done honor your commitments in a guardian angel uh so i take this as a person in libra as they have good intentions they kind of want to it's almost like they're in their head, Libra. They're in their head and considering of reaching out to you or communicating with you in some type of way. Because I do see the Earth cards are pentacles, uh, the element for pentacles. I do see this as like a knight wanting to, it's kind of like in their head tossing back or not. like, do I contact Libra or do I not? I'm like, what do I do in this situation, right? And it's almost like when you have that, uh, it's different from the uh, Knight of Cups in that Knight of Cups, that's like the emotional side of things, whereas like Knight of Earth, it's a little bit slower energy. So maybe Libra, you haven't heard from them in a little bit. Maybe you got into a fight with them a little bit um, and you just haven't heard from them and you're taking that silence as the answer and it's not the answer. They're just a little bit slow. They're coming to you, Libra. They're coming to you, whether it's with um, some type of offer, uh, whether it's time to like, you know, we'll know why, what they're wanting to communicate with you with the clarifiers of this later on. 
uh, and the energy between y'all two, Libra, is the Ten of Fire, which would be the Ten of Wands. Now, this card is like the baggage card. Too much work, accept help from other people, and life is out of balance, right? Stress-related health concerns. <sighs> Libra, I see this as... Now, this could be both, right? I actually do kind of feel like it could be both. Both you guys see like the elephant in the room. Both you guys see this baggage. Both you guys see the problem or are aware that there is at least a problem. Your side of things, you want to move on, right? You're taking this and you're just like, okay, like washing hands clean of it. Their side of things, they're not washing their hands clean of it. They're getting ready to just like buckle down and continue going forward. I feel like they're just a little bit slower, um, either at like processing things, Libra, or just movement in general. Um, so, you know, consider this. If you're wanting to go move on, why is it are you wanting to move on? Like before you move on from this situation, Libra, see about like where they're at, right? Because they could just be slow, right? Don't take their five minutes being late as in they're not coming. They might just be late, might just be traffic holding them up sort of thing. So before you move on from this, uh, consider what's going on, right? But let's start pulling some clarifiers, Libra. I'm going to start out with your Eight of Water or your Eight of Cups card on your side of things. See what's up with that. See what's going on there. And this card, I feel like it wants to be pulled. Uh, Three of Swords is the card that wanted to be pulled. I'll show it in a minute, Libra. Uh, so definitely, it seems to be you're hurt by somebody. You're experiencing some type of pain, which makes sense as to why you have the mouse spirit and the seagull talking about deep healing. So it seems to be painting out a situation where you're hurt and now you're just ready to like move on. Like you're hurt from this situation, you're hurt from this person, perhaps. You realize you see this as the baggage that it is, and you're just like, uh, you're done. Definitely talking about hurt. Uh let's get into this now with the clarifiers for your eight of water. Uh we pulled the three of swords as I was talking about, pain. Ten of Swords comes in. I do feel like they caused you pain, Libra. Whoever it is that you're thinking about, this person caused you pain. And Ten of Swords is more of like a... It's not just by words, I guess is what I'm trying to say. It's probably from lack of action. I That is something that I'm getting. It's like, Libra, you're upset by their, their lack of action. And maybe that's what the pain is. Or maybe it's like they caused some pain. Maybe you confronted them about it, or maybe you talked about it a little bit, Libra, with this Ten of Swords, because this Ten of Swords is different in that, like, you're trying to overcome it, or in this process of moving on from it. Um, but because they're not giving you that closure, you're trying to give that closure to yourself and probably are successfully doing it, kind of, Libra. Um, King of Cups comes in where it's just like, the longer this goes on, the more closed off you're going to be in this situation, because the more... Like, I see this King of Cups as, like, you're in this progressiveness, Libra, of becoming pretty indifferent towards the situation. You're feeling pain now, right? But once you finally overcome that hump with this, once you get that closure, whether it's with them or without them, Libra, your, your end goal is this King of Cups, right? So Queen of Cups is the energy back of the deck as well. So you do see this person as your person. You do see, like, the match in this Libra, which... I guess it makes sense as to why you would come into this reading, right? So you're maybe trying to look for a sign, perhaps, of, like giving this person another chance, right? Or weighing out your options. Maybe that's what you're doing, Libra. It's just like, oh, what do I do with this person? How do I handle them? What do I do? Um, and that's where we just consider, like, well, Knight of Earth. They're being a little bit slow. Let's see what's up with them. Let's get some clarifiers on that. So maybe I can help uh, give you an idea of what decision you want to make, Libra, in terms of this. How, what does moving on look like to you? Hanged man, king of pentacles, two of wands, back of the deck energy, eight of swords. Libra, yeah, they want to talk to you. Extremely slow person, though. They're extremely slow because of this eight of swords. Because they're in their head. Every time, like, it's like, you know, they get ready to go out the door. And then they just, like, catch themselves in the mirror. And they're just like, oh, no, I need to change my entire outfit. I don't look good. Da, 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 right? It's very much so that energy. Like, that's why they're slow. Right? It's not because they don't care, Libra. It's just, like, they're just a little bit slower at progressing through things mentally just because... You know, like, we all have, like, that inner uh, critic, that inner saboteur that will just get in our heads. And normally, think about this, Libra. We only get in our heads when we care about something. So if they're really in their head, which I do see this, they do care about this situation. So you can take comfort in that. But with the clarifiers that we have for their Knight of Earth, 
we have the hanged man so they are like this is again a commitment to a decision so libra once they are committed to this i do see this as commitment they haven't started moving yet once they do start moving they're not going to stop they're going to just be dare i say a little bit persistent even if like uh you kind of just closed off and you just move on from the situation libra and you just like you know what wash my hands clean of it don't want to deal with you anymore i'm done right this person is just like mm, but are you though in a good way because it's just like they i kind of suspect that they enjoy this connection as well king of pentacles is this energy of kind of more so emphasizing that it's just maybe they're not the most emotional person libra right and maybe that's another thing that you were analyzing and being like okay they're not moving quickly towards me or just lack of action that you see anyways and they're not showing emotion they're not reacting in any type of way this would be why king of Pent like all this pentacle energy this is a very grounded person um very much so uh i don't want to say they're not self-aware but they're just self-involved in that it's not natural for them libra to think about a different perspective not because they don't want to or because they don't care it just isn't in their nature normally um but they do with the same man they do identify a problem or identify what it is that they need to do with this two of wands as well it's like they realize the next step they realize that they like the only way to continue going forward in this is by committing to actually like speaking or committing to actually trying to have some type of communication um right they are kind of realizing they can't be in this eight of swords energy if they want this because i do see you leaving i do kind of see like they kind of realize like they needed to have some type of commitment libra because they see what's going on with you um because it's like it does seem to be something spurs in them with this hanged man of being like okay i gotta commit to this it's now or never that's really what it is it's a very now or never energy on their side um so very interesting we have as the energy between y'all two the ten of fire or the ten of wands so this is just like the the baggage i almost want to say this is like what has caused like this potential discourse libra because i am getting like a little bit of a discourse for this so let's see what this is about let's see the sun card so you both want happiness in this right you both really do want this to work out i really do see this libra i see this as you both wanting it to work out they're not just showing it because they're not really emotive right and they're just slow your side of things you really want it to work out but you're almost being protective of your emotions and not wanting like you're just done like you're just ready to move on um to get to the sun another way it's like you realize the streets close to get to the sun and you're just like okay is there a way around right is there a different path that i can take so let's see queen of pentacles queen of cups back of the wow and <laughs> back of the deck energy queen of swords honey what co what suit did we just not get we got Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups. We didn't get the Queen of Wands, I guess. That's the only <laughs> queen that we didn't get Libra for this. <laughs> um, so let's break this Ten of Wands down. Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles comes in in the sense of... And this Queen of Swords. I feel like all three of these queens come in of where it's letting me know, like, Libra, both you guys probably have extremely dominant energies. And... Uh, I feel like because you both have like dominant energies or very much so just energies that are settled in, right? You have a good sense of self. It seems like they have a pretty good sense of self. Um, maybe both you guys are not used to that for me, like having seen that in other people. So it's just like, you don't know what to do in this situation, but you see the potential. Like, here's the thing. It almost is like Libra. Neither of you guys are used to dealing with the type of personality that each other are dealing like that you both of you guys are does that make sense where it's just like you're used to a certain type of way with people and you're used to having to like maybe like make the decisions for people and they're used to libra perhaps maybe not having to put all their energy in or maybe not having to commit to something right maybe things have just come to them naturally right maybe they are like that queen of pent which would make sense they are the queen of pentacles um where it's just like they're kind of just to themselves that's what that queen of pentacles is they're to themselves and it's just like you're just more on the emotional side of things so they're kind of to themselves you're more emotional it's kind of like that yin and yang energy but not realizing you guys are just opposite and it's just like 
you know how it's just like you guys just have different love languages and you're not realizing that you have different love languages and that's the problem because it's like if you're aware that you guys had different love languages um think everything it's like everything would just start clicking and making sense and you're just like oh yeah like we can make this work of course we can make this work why wouldn't we be able to make this work right um six of swords is the energy back of the deck i do yeah you guys want like there is like this sense of like I do feel like some of you guys are going to have to start leaving or there is like a sense of where someone starts leaving and that's when the other person catches the other one and they're just like, wait, right? They're just like, oh, like <laughs> they realize what it is that they're missing and that's when they commit to it. But maybe perhaps Libra, you have to kind of scare them a little bit. You have to be that six of swords where you're just like, you know what? Moving on, I'm leaving with or without you. And that's when their part, that's where it is, where they're just like, okay, I need it. It's that now or never energy. You give them that now or never energy through the Six of Swords. So interesting how this plays out. Uh, Libra, this is the reading that I have for you. If you enjoyed this, be sure to let me know in the comments below which card resonated with you. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Libra. And yeah, be sure to let me know how this situation pans out for you this week. I really want to know about it. Uh, and if you enjoyed this, be sure to share my videos with a friend if you think they might be into my messages. Until next time, Libra, though.